Pixel Paradise has evidently become one of the largest failures in Minecraft Bedrock Edition history. With a very poor debut day and several mistakes thereafter, Pixel Paradise slowly dug themselves into their demise. But what exactly led to the instant failure of this featured server, and why exactly were they always destined to fail? Interested? Let's get started. In case this day is unfamiliar to you, this would be the day Potato Pie 25 released a video titled Everything We Know About the Newest Bedrock Server, Pixel Paradise. For context, this video would be released over a month before the server was officially released. There were also tweets regarding leaks about Pixel Paradise up to 3 days beforehand, but this video would put all the information we knew in one place. But what exactly was the relevant information we needed to know? And what two key pieces of information from this video would express that they were destined for for instant failure. The first piece of information that would come to the community's attention was that Pixel Paradise was also owned by MPVP. For context, MPVP are the owners of another featured server, Mineville. And if you don't know why this is a bad sign, Mineville has had a very bad history. It's severely paid to play and has received a lot of negative feedback in the past. The second piece of information we would receive would be a leak to two of the main games we would see on this new featured server. These games meaning to be the main selling point as to why you should play Pixel Paradise over the likes of the Hive. The first game out of the two would be Spleef which in reality is quite a fun party game, however not a game which should be the main selling point for your server. Then the second game being Islands. This is a game like Skyblock, but instead you're on a survival island in the middle of the ocean. This would have been a good selling point if an image didn't surface alongside it, expressing that this game would be pay to play. This screenshot was not confirmed to be real, but knowing that Pixel Paradise was owned by the same company as Mineville meant that this was an instant red flag. Then finally, unrelated to the video, the fact that all this relevant information was leaked a month prior to the server releasing means that they didn't care much for security of keeping this private. Whether at the time we knew this information was real or not, the fact that all these leaks were easily accessible and did in fact turn out to be true, it means that this server failed to keep their release a surprise, even if it wasn't a very good surprise. This day would mark the official release date of Pixel Paradise as a featured server, and the events to commence in the next coming days would mark their server as one of the biggest failures in Bedrock Edition history. For starters, on the day the server released, myself and PotatoPie25 were live over on Twitch. The reason I mention this is because we ended up streaming together to play this new featured server. However, Pixel Paradise had such a rough release that we, as well as everyone else trying to play it, spent several minutes at a time trying to connect to the server. And when we eventually did, we either got kicked instantly or the games were extremely laggy. And with over 5,000 people trying to connect at a time and the server not being able to handle this, it begs the question as to why exactly this was the case. As we know, the owners already own another featured server being Mineville. So was it that they didn't prepare enough and were lackluster with the release? Was the release an accident and it wasn't meant to go out that early? Or was it knowing the server they were, they simply didn't expect player counts to spike over 2,000? Of course, both these ideas are speculative but it doesn't mean they're 100% wrong. And as well as a bumpy Minecraft server release, we would also see a very unprepared Discord server release. Due to the lack of security and management and the lack of staff monitoring the Discord server, we would see several different raids from several different communities that they simply could not handle. And with the same thing happening to Galaxi in the past and with them having good moderation at the time, it also begs the question as to why Pixel Paradise didn't prepare for this and why they allowed it to happen for hours on end. Over the next few days, we would see two very interesting screenshots circle around the community. The first image being a screenshot of the VIP pass on this server, and expressing how it costs over $30. I was trying to think of a joke about how overpriced this is, but you would probably have to pay to hear it. The next screenshot, however, would be a comment made from one of their devs. In specific, from the statement, however, is where they go, We are aiming more for younger players or female players. This statement here would stir up a lot of trouble in the community, and would lead to a bunch of unanswered questions. How exactly was a pay to play server aimed at a younger audience? And what exactly about this server was aimed more towards female players than any of the other featured servers? I mean, every Minecraft server is aimed at a younger audience, but what about a $30 VIP pass and an incomplete roleplay hub is better aimed at younger audiences than the other featured servers? And if this is aimed at females, then surely that means Mineville is aimed at males. So the server with jobs and a school is aimed at males, but a beach resort holiday is aimed at females 
females, it doesn't make much sense. And even if that wasn't the point they were trying to get at, by implying that server was better aimed at females than any of the other featured servers, it really gives off that impression. And this statement alone would play a key part in their instant failure. As well as these two screenshots circling however, we would also see several different creators making negative videos aimed at this server. Dicey's would make several videos about how much of a scam the purchasable items are, and as well as this would interview one of the admins about the server. And then we would see even larger creators such as Echo Soldier and Jaden just simply talking about how bad this featured server was, and how bad it looked on the Minecraft Bedrock community. And in case you're not sure why this has such a huge impact on instant failure, this is since content creators can very much make or break a server. By this I mean a server can do very well without any creators. I mean we see this with Cubecraft getting high player counts but has a small number of creators. However Pixel Paradise was already off to a very bad start and the content creators making negative videos aimed at it put it in the mud. Meaning that Pixel Paradise didn't get any positive feedback from the community nor the creators showing how this server was an instant failure in the eyes of the public. So yes, this is what led to Pixel Paradise's instant failure and why exactly the server was always destined to fail. And although they're in a bad place right now, this doesn't mean they will never get better. However, with such a bad start and the hole they've dug themselves into, it would be very hard to recover. And I would just like to say that this video was not made to hate on Pixel Paradise in any way, shape or form, but instead to tell the story of why this server instantly failed and everything they did wrong for it to have such a fast demise. Thank you all for watching, stay safe and bye.